Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome you all to learn Chinese language with Chinese language made easy. I am Muhammad Shahid and today I will discuss basic rules of writing a Chinese character. Previously I have discussed five rules in which I told you that what order of the strokes you should maintain in writing a Chinese character. Today we will discuss three more rules and we will have a firm grip of how to maintain a correct order uh, when we try to write a Chinese character. So I will discuss today rule number six first. Rule number rule number six. So what does rule number six tell us? Rule number six is the same as we discussed the rule number fourth or five in which we discussed that we should write the outer portion of the, char the character first and then we should write the inside portion of the character. We will just add a little more with that and it will make makes our rule number six. It is Xian Y Xian Y Ho Li Xian Y Ho Li Zai This is the little bit addition Zai Feng Ko Xian Y Ho Li Zai Feng Ko Zai Feng Ko Xian means first first why outside outside and how means later li means inside zai one meaning of zai is again here it means further 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 Fang means to seal, seal. Kau, mouth. Mouth or opening, okay? So if we sum up the meaning of this rule, it says that first you write the outside portion of the Chinese character, then you write the inside portion of the character or you can say then you seal the frame or you seal the opening with the final stroke seal the opening of the Chinese character with the final stroke okay or further seal the opening or mouth of the uh, Chinese character with the final stroke. I will just discuss some examples and you will understand this rule very clearly. So example examples number first example just pay attention You see, this is the seal, sealing stroke. This stroke, this final stroke, we wrote it, we wrote it to seal this uh, whole character. So this Zai Feng Kou means to seal this opening to seal this opening we wrote this portion first this second and finally we uh, close this opening with this final stroke so this is like the sealing stroke feng ko feng ko so it is guo guo means country country okay guo Another example could be
You see, this is yuan, yuan, yuan. Yuan means garden, garden. So you see, we we wrote this shu, shu first. Then we wrote this hung jo, hung jo. Then we wrote this hung, we wrote this hung, we wrote this pie, pie, pie. And we wrote this shu wan go, shu wan go. So you you saw that we completed this outer portion first, this portion first. Then we completed this portion, and we finally sealed the opening of this character with this sealing stroke. This is the sealing stroke which closed the frame. Okay, which closed the frame. So you completely understood now that if you write, if you want to write a Chinese character, you have to write the outside portion first, then write the inside portion, and then finally seal the opening or the frame of the Chinese character with the sealing stroke. With the sealing stroke, which here is hung, hung, hung. Okay. So this was about rule number sixth. Now let's proceed to rule number seventh. This is now clear to us. We will we will now discuss a rule number seventh. What does rule number seven tells us? Tell us. So rule number seven tell tell tells us that we should xian xian chong jian xian chong jian hao liang bian. Hao liang bian, xian zhong jian. Hao liang bian, xian means first, first. Okay, first, first, zhong jian, middle. Hao later. Liang Bian, both sides, two sides. Now, what does it mean? It means that first write the middle stroke of the Chinese character, and after that, later write both sides or both sides strokes of the Chinese character. I will discuss some examples, and this rule will be clear to us. Examples are. First example is Xiao 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 means small small use for small This is the first example so you saw that we wrote this this stroke first you see this stroke first then i wrote this one and then i wrote this one pie and then na uh, sorry it is uh, dn pie dn okay so this was about this now let's just discuss uh, example number second so i will first write the central stroke it is also known as the central stroke first so dn you see i wrote this first now i will write you see so this stroke was first i wrote this middle stroke first and then i wrote the strokes of both the sides liang bian liang bian this means this side right side left side and right side okay and this means 
Young. Young means one meaning is forever. Second meaning is eternal. Third meaning is everlasting. So you understood now. Let's just discuss another example. I wrote this one first and then you see so it means shui 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 means shui means water okay so you understood now that we wrote the central stroke first and the other strokes later but this rule has also got some exceptions. For example, which doesn't follow this rule. So one exception is, you see, this means huo, fire, huo. This character stands for fire. So. I wrote this dn first, then this pie, and then I wrote this pie and this na. So you can see that I did not follow this rule. So there are exceptions that doesn't follow these uh, rules totally, but mostly you saw that these uh, strokes are uh, thoroughly followed by these rules. Okay, so. This is enough about this rule. Let's just discuss another rule. Let's just discuss rule number eight. I will just discuss its English only because I did not find its pinion, but I will tell you about this rule. Spanning, this rule say this, says this, strokes last. This means that whenever you write a Chinese character and there is a stroke, whether that is hung, whether that is shu, shu, whether that is shu go or whether that is another stroke which actually passes through other strokes that is called spanning stroke and that spanning stroke should be written after when though all those strokes are completed from which through which this spanning strokes or these spanning strokes pass so i will just discuss some examples and you will understand that what I means by this. So, examples. First example is just uh, pay attention, okay? The stroke which I'm writing now is the spanning stroke. This. So, you see, shi. Shi means matter, affair, business, and many other meanings. Okay, so you saw that this is the spanning stroke which is shu go, shu go, which passed through these strokes and we completed this stroke in the end or when we completed all the strokes through which this spanning stroke passed, we completed it. Let's just discuss another example.
This one is known as Mu Chin Mu Chin Mu Chin Mu Chin means mother So This is basically the spanning stroke here You see The spanning stroke in the middle So this we wrote it later because it passed through this Shu uh, Zhe and then Hang Zhe Gao, Hang Zhe Gao. So it passed from this stroke. So this is actually the spanning stroke. Okay, let's consider another example. So. <clears throat> Guanxi, Guanxi, Guanxi means relation. So you saw, we wrote this pie letter after we completed these two strokes, these two hangs from which it passes through. So you know, you know now that you should complete the this. You see, so this is the spanning stroke. This was the spanning stroke. This was the spanning stroke. So we discussed three rules today. Rule number six, seventh, and eighth. And you got to know that how you are going to write a Chinese character with the right order of the strokes. So this is all for today. I hope that you would have learned a lot of new information from this lecture. We will meet each other in next interesting lectures about Chinese language. Till then, see you. 再见。